everybody i hope you're doing amazing uh welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i didn't do a gouache video so i think it's uh it's about time yeah um around three months ago i got sent this beautiful gouache uh by this brand called arts i hope i'm pronouncing it okay i think it's meant to sound like arts which is super cool <laughs> um so yeah ever since then i've been using it and i just i love it i discovered gouache this year <laughs> because of tiktok i just i love it um so anyways today i'm going to paint some howl's moving castle scenes and i'm always checking them sorry i find these scenes in animation cap screens um and we love howl here of course it's just so cute and i have the um, the movie in the background because it just inspired me so so much and of course the music is just mwah, beautiful <laughs> So this is the one that I'm using as a yellow one, but they also have in color, in like a green color. Um, they have 18 colors and this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've used them um, for a little bit, but this was my first time opening them. They just look like yogurt and I really wanted to eat them, but you can't, it's toxic, don't do it. <laughs> So to keep them um, from drying out, I spray a little bit of water and I put the cover on top and I just try to um, always store them in a dark, cold place if it's possible. But here are some swatches so you can see um, how the color looks like. It's so pretty! I love that it's so pigmented but you can also water it down so it's more watercolor. If you're familiar with gouache, then you probably know this, but if you're starting, because um, I didn't really know how to how to use them, like what is the correct technique uh, when I started, just by watching other people um, use them. That blue, by the way, it's gorgeous. Ah, I love it. I use them for um, that blue, specifically for the ocean or the sky. This is the first scene that we're gonna paint. Um, like I said, it's from Howl. Not all the scenes that I'm going to do are from Howl, but this one and another one, yes. So, um, it's, I think it's towards the end of the movie, um, yes, I think it's at the end. But anyway, so I start by taking some of the greens and mix them, mixing them up. You probably should not do this, like mixing, <laughs> mixing them inside their cup. You can take uh, a little, like, scoop and, or scoop them out and put them outside and then mix in them. But I'm just, uh, I think I'm a little lazy, so I just go right, right in. But if it's um, if for lighter colors, uh, all of them, or darker, then it should be fine. They don't mix too, too much. But I try to avoid it for the white, because the white gets um, dirty so easily. I start with a very light wash um, layer of, of the main color, which in this case is the green. And then I'm slowly... Oh my gosh, every single time that I've edited this video and I've heard that little sound, I check my phone like a dummy, even though I knew, I knew nobody messaged me. Anyways, so yes, and now I'm moving on to the little lake. Also, this brush, oh, I love it. I got it r super recently and it's so soft and it holds so much paint. I think I've mentioned this before, but when I started painting with gouache, I didn't really know um, how to, I guess just how to use it because I was used to oils and it's not really like watercolor. Well, it could be, but it dries very, very fast. And at first I was like, whoa, um, but once you start to like work with that situation, then it, it's actually really great. I love that it dries fast because you can add layers on, on top of layers very very quick unlike oil painting that you have to wait um probably like minimum a day or so so that is really, really cool and i'm very inspired by the impressionist um and those beautiful landscapes oh they're so pretty so i'm just trying to do kind of the same but on my own style too and doing a lot of the dot technique as well but you can always define the flowers if you like obviously maybe the ones that are closer to you you can add more detail but i think overall even with just these dots your eye already tells you that those are flowers but again this is obviously up to you 
um so yeah i'll show you guys what it looks later <laughs> and moving on to the next one this is a beautiful photo that i found on pinterest i'm just gonna leave them linked there uh this is not my photo but i thought it was very very pretty so i wanted to paint it as well and i think i was thinking this could be a really cool gift idea for somebody if you um paint this in like a little postcard and write them a little note i i don't know i thought it was really really cute but as always i'm starting kind of the same with this guy very light washed and slowly adding the darks uh, in this case is the ocean also i'm so sorry because i don't know why i was filming from the left side since i'm a lefty and my hand was covering the entire thing pretty much the whole time so i truly apologize for that i'm sorry And here I'm just adding the flowers that will sort of frame the, um, the picture. It's just such a cute picture. I love it. And it's so calm to, to paint the ocean. That's so nice. It brings me peace. <laughs> So this is another photo that I had saved on my Pinterest. It's just, ah, uh, now I want to live in the woods, have a, a little cottage house and have a beautiful garden. <laughs> this is all TikTok guys, it's uh, changing my perspective and things. But anyway, so I'm starting with sketching like always and honestly half of it, I'm not even going to paint it. You'll see later that I changed my mind, but just so you guys can see how I, how I start. But I want to start learning to paint more complex scenarios. Um, also, it's getting late <laughs> and there's no more light. Uh, because the ocean is so, so beautiful and I love painting it. But it's more from like a simple structure for painting. And I really want to paint city landscapes. That's like my dream. But they're so complex. I tried and I failed. They're so hard. So I think this one, for example, I struggle a lot because I didn't know how to make the house an actual house. <laughs> um, it looked like a door, like a planter at some point, but you know, you just gotta practice. And it's only by practicing that you learn um, what works, what doesn't, what do you like, what don't you like, and how you paint things basically. So as always, I'm starting with painting what's for furthest away I'm, not, I'm still not sure if that's a real word furthest i'm gonna go with it so <laughs> what's most far away and uh, in this case it's the branches and the trees well the shadows of the trees and slowly slowly coming closer to what's yeah what's pretty much closer to you but with this one it was hard because sometimes i didn't know i didn't know if the thing um, was the closest, but then it didn't seem like it was as vibrant as some other things. Hmm. Let you guys see that <laughs> instead of me talking. I'm sorry, I had like too much yesterday. I don't know why, I think I'm going crazy. And of course, I'm always using the tape because it helps so much to create straight lines. Oh, 
also my laptop screen broke <laughs> so that's what it looks like when i'm editing this video i managed to connect it to another monitor that i have so thank god but oh my goodness i was so mad but it was my fault because it i was I was watching a show and it was in the sink and then Deku came in, he he hopped on the sink and the laptop fell. But he doesn't know, it's my fault that I put it in the sink. But ah, I was so mad. I think I repel technology at this point because my car a couple months ago, my laptop now, what's gonna be next? I'm just praying it's not my camera. <laughs> And here I'm just adding the last little details that I think it makes everything come together which is this beautiful plant that is going around the ceiling of the house and the, um, the window but as you can see it's very the little details are what makes are what yeah what that's what's gonna make the painting um, pop I think And this is the third paint, no, the fourth painting, I think. yeah, the fourth painting. Um, like I said, I just wanted to paint something more, quote unquote, more simple. And this actually reminds me of the, um, my fields in my hometown in Spain, Castilla, Los Campos de Castilla. It sort of looks like that, uh, very yellow, but also a little bit of green with some mountains. Ah, oh, I miss Spain. <laughs> I want to go visit so badly. Ah, I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same, just visiting your families and everything. Especially if you're far away, I can't even imagine. Well, I can, but yes, I feel you. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the arts painting the gouache is that it's so thick and you can add those really nice pop of colors like here with the flowers or with the highlights of the trees and it just looks so good it doesn't really lose its pigment it's so so nice <laughs> But not least, this is another scene from Howl's Moving Castle and boy, I struggle. I didn't even know how to do the, um, the stones, stones that were underwater that looked like stones, but that had that sort of bluish, greenish tone. So I just kind of left it like that, even though it doesn't, it, I didn't really like it, but then I added the, um, the reflections and the water splashes and I think it turned out pretty pretty okay but this is it I hope you guys enjoyed I want to film my sketchbook I just want to finish it and give a little sketchbook tour that will be awesome I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you arts for sending me the um, the paints I love them I've been using them for I think three four months so yeah, I highly recommend you guys check them out and don't be afraid to experiment. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as always and I will see you very, very soon. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and yes, I love you. You got this, you can do anything you want. Okay. Mwah.